Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Today is day 11 of reading the Gospels through in 40 days. Just a few more days, and we will be done with the book of Matthew, and we will move on to the book of Mark. Today, we're going to read chapters 24 through 25 of Matthew. This video, I'll be reading from a modern English version called the World English Bible, but if you prefer to listen to the King James Version, I have that linked in the description box below. All right, let's get started. Jesus went out from the temple and was going on his way. His disciples came to him to show him the buildings of the temple, but he answered them, You see all of these things, don't you? Most certainly, I tell you, there will not be left one stone here on another that will not be thrown down. As he sat on the Mount of Olives, the disciples came to him privately, saying, Tell us, when will these things be? What is the sign of your coming and the end of the age? Jesus answered them, Be careful that no one leads you astray, for many will come in my name, saying, I am the Christ, and will lead many astray. You will hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that you aren't troubled, for all this must happen, but the end is not yet. For nation will rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom, and there will be famines, plagues, and earthquakes in various places, but all these things are the beginning of birth pains. Then they will deliver you up to oppression and will kill you. You will be hated by all of the nations for my name's sake. Then many will stumble and will deliver up one another and will hate one another. Many false prophets will arise and will lead many astray. Because iniquity will be multiplied, the love of many will grow cold. But he who endures to the end will be saved. This good news of the kingdom will be preached in the whole world for a testimony to all the nations, and then the end will come. When, therefore, you see the abomination of desolation, which was spoken of through Daniel the prophet, standing in the holy place, let the reader understand, then let those who are in Judea flee to the mountains. Let him who is on the housetop not go down to take out the things that are in his house. Let him who is in the field not return back to get his clothes. But woe to those who are with child and to nursing mothers in those days. Pray that your flight will not be in the winter nor on a Sabbath, for then there will be great suffering, such as has not been seen from the beginning of the world until now. No, nor ever will be. For unless those days had been shortened, no flesh would have been saved. But for the sake of the chosen ones, those days will be shortened. Then, if any man tells you, Behold, here is the Christ, or there, don't believe it. For there will arise false Christs and false prophets, and they will show great signs and wonders, so as to lead astray, if possible, even the chosen ones. Behold, I have told you beforehand. If therefore they tell you, Behold, he is in the wilderness, don't go out, or, Behold, he is in the inner rooms, don't believe it. For, as the lightning flashes from the east, and is seen even to the west, so will the coming of the Son of Man be. For wherever the carcass is, that is where the vultures gather together. But immediately after the suffering of those days, the sun will be darkened, the moon will not give its light, the stars will fall from the sky, and the powers of the heavens will be shaken. And then the sign of the Son of Man will appear in the sky. Then all the tribes of the earth will mourn, and they will see the Son of Man coming on the clouds of the sky with power and great glory. He will send out his angels with a great sound of a trumpet, and they will gather together his chosen ones from the four winds, from one end of the sky to the other. Now, from the fig tree, learn this parable. When its branch has now become tender and produces its leaves, you know that the summer is near. Even so, you also, when you see all these things, know that he is near, even at the doors. Most certainly, I tell you, this generation will not pass away until all these things are accomplished. Heaven and earth will pass away, but my words will not pass away. But no one knows of that day and hour, not even the angels of heaven, but my Father only. As the days of Noah were, so will the coming of the Son of Man be. 
For as in those days which were before the flood, they were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage, until the day that Noah entered into the ship, and they didn't know until the flood came and took them all away, so will the coming of the Son of Man be. Then two men will be in the field, one will be taken and one will be left. Two women will be grinding at the mill, one will be taken and one will be left. Watch therefore, for you don't know in what hour your Lord comes. But know this, that if the master of the house had known in what watch of the night the thief was coming, he would have watched and would not have allowed his house to be broken into. Therefore also be ready, for in an hour that you don't expect, the Son of Man will come. Who then is the faithful and wise servant whom his Lord has set over his household to give them their food in due season? Blessed is that servant whom his Lord finds doing so when he comes. Most certainly I tell you that he will set him over all he has. But if that evil servant should say in his heart, My Lord is delaying his coming, and begins to beat his fellow servants, and eat and drink with the drunkards, the Lord of that servant will come in a day when he doesn't expect it, and in an hour when he doesn't know it, and will cut him in pieces and appoint his portion with the hypocrites. That is where the weeping and grinding of teeth will be. Then the kingdom of heaven will be like ten virgins who took their lamps and went out to meet the bridegroom. Five of them were foolish and five were wise. Those who were foolish, when they took their lamps, took no oil with them, but the wise took oil in their vessels with their lamps. Now while the bridegroom delayed, they all slumbered and slept. But at midnight there was a cry, Behold, the bridegroom is coming, come out to meet him. Then all those virgins arose and trimmed their lamps. The foolish said to the wise, Give us some of your oil, for our lamps are going out. But the wise answered, saying, What if there isn't enough for us and you? You go rather to those who sell and buy for yourselves. While they went away to buy, the bridegroom came, and those who were ready went in with him to the wedding feast, and the door was shut. Afterward, the other virgins also came, saying, Lord, Lord, open to us. But he answered, Most certainly I tell you, I don't know you. Watch therefore, for you don't know the day nor the hour in which the Son of Man is coming. For it is like a man going into another country, who called his own servants and entrusted his goods to them. To one he gave five talents, to another two, to another one, to each according to his own ability. Then he went on his journey. Immediately he who received the five talents went and traded with them and made another five talents. In the same way, he also who got the two gained another two. But he who received the one talent went away and dug in the earth and hid his Lord's money. Now after a long time, the Lord of those servants came and settled accounts with them. He who received the five talents came and brought another five talents, saying, Lord, you delivered to me five talents. Behold, I have gained another five talents in addition to them. His Lord said to him, Well done, good and faithful servant. You have been faithful over a few things. I will set you over many things. Enter into the joy of your Lord. He also, who got the two talents, came and said, Lord, you delivered to me two talents? Behold, I have gained another two talents in addition to them. His Lord said to him, Well done, good and faithful servant. You have been faithful over a few things. I will set you over many things. Enter into the joy of your Lord. He also, who had received the one talent, came and said, Lord, I knew you, that you are a hard man, reaping where you didn't sow, and gathering where you didn't scatter. I was afraid. I went away and hid your talent in the earth. Behold, you have what is yours. But his Lord answered him, You wicked and slothful servant, you knew that I reap where I didn't sow, and gather where I didn't scatter. You ought therefore to have deposited my money with the bankers, and at my coming I should have received back my own with interest. Take away therefore the talent from him, and give it to him who has the ten talents. For to everyone who has will be given, and he will have abundance. But from him who doesn't have, even that which he has will be taken away. 
Throw out the unprofitable servant into the outer darkness, where there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. But when the Son of Man comes in his glory, and all the holy angels with him, then he will sit on the throne of his glory. Before him all the nations will be gathered, and he will separate them one from the other, as a shepherd separates the sheep from the goats. He will set the sheep on his right hand, but the goats on the left. Then the king will tell those on his right hand, Come, blessed of my father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. For I was hungry, and you gave me food to eat. I was thirsty, and you gave me drink. I was a stranger, and you took me in. I was naked, and you clothed me. I was sick, and you visited me. I was in prison, and you came to me. Then the righteous will answer him, saying, Lord, when did we see you hungry and feed you, or thirsty and give you a drink? When did we see you as a stranger and take you in, or naked and clothe you? When did we see you sick or in prison and come to you? The king will answer them, Most certainly I tell you, because you did it to one of the least of these my brothers, you did it to me. Then he will say also to those on the left hand, Depart from me, you cursed, into the eternal fire which is prepared for the devil and his angels. For I was hungry, and you didn't give me food to eat. I was thirsty, and you gave me no drink. I was a stranger, and you didn't take me in. Naked, and you didn't clothe me. Sick and in prison, and you didn't visit me. Then they will also answer, saying, Lord, when did we see you hungry, or thirsty, or a stranger, or naked, or sick, or in prison, and didn't help you? Then he will answer them, saying, Most certainly I tell you, because you didn't do it to one of the least of these, you didn't do it to me. These will go away into eternal punishment, but the righteous into eternal life. Thank you again for joining me on this reading journey. Remember to subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you're always notified when new videos are posted. Also, I have merch available, so if you're interested in that, I have a link in the description down below and you can check that out. I look forward to seeing you all here for tomorrow, day 12, and we will finish the book of Matthew. I hope to see you then. Have a blessed day.